Rosen, curator of the Fleming Museum. I'm here with associate professor of printmaking drawing, Mildred Beltre. We're talking about recent acquisitions at the Fleming. And this is William Theo Longo's Embodied. Tell us more about this print. Sure. So this print, um, I think of all the recent acquisitions that I, I chose for the collection, is maybe the least, um, is maybe the more, the, I guess the least maybe recognizable as sort of like a traditional print in that it is not, it's not a woodcut, it's not a lithograph, it's not an etching, it doesn't have um, any of those names that we associate with printmaking, but what it does have in common with printmaking is that idea of reproducibility, of being able to be a multiple. And the way this image was made was through laser, um, through a laser engraving on felt. And so, you know, it sort of enters into that digital realm. So through a digital file, an image like this can be sort of endlessly reproduced. And then it also has um, a collage element where one piece, where there's a, I guess, a laminate of another sheet behind it. And then you can also see a little bit of the shadow um, of one piece to the other. So I, one of the reasons, so recently I've been bringing my woodcut class to the, um, to our makerspace here on campus, to the Fab Lab, where they've been playing around with the possibilities for printmaking with the laser engraver. And so, so far we've mostly used it to carve wood blocks that you wouldn't necessarily be able to carve by hand. Mm. And so really thinking about what sorts of images or what does, how does technology open up the possibility for images that we wouldn't be able to make otherwise. Mm -hmm. And I think this is sort of a great example for them to see of a way that you can make use a laser engraver to sort of directly make the work mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and then have that be sort of like fit into that history and trajectory of the multiple. Mm -hmm.